dear finance professionals and students welcome to podcast of fca deepak rao a practicing chartered accountant daily news and updates for 24th april 2024 In a pivotal move the Supreme Court has stepped in to assess the contentious rupees 33000 crore tax claim imposed on JP Infratech Limited marking a crucial juncture in the ongoing legal saga that has left 22000 home buyers in limbo On April 15 2024 the Apex Court announced its decision to scrutinize the assessment made by the Commissioner of Income Tax directing the central board of direct taxes to provide a detailed affidavit within a month presided over by justice sanjeev khanna the bench has summoned the commissioner of income tax noida to justify why the directive should not be overturned the success of the massive vodafone idea follow on public offer which raised rupees 18000 crore coupled to a subscription of fresh equity worth rupees 2075 crore by an aditya birla group company has triggered some optimism about the telecom sector vodafone india limited intends to raise around rupees 25000 crore from the market if it can utilize the funds to roll out 5g and strengthen its 4g presence the threat of india's telecom services market turning into a duopoly recedes India saw 20% year on year growth in office leasing between January and March this year making it their highest first quarter absorption over the last 5 years according to data released by Savilis India on Tuesday the demand for office space in the first quarter of this year was 16.7 million square feet The consultancy said that Bengaluru contributed the highest to overall leasing in the country with a share of 27% followed by Hyderabad at 20% and Mumbai at 19%. Anil Agarwal owned Vedanta Resources which has hired Standard Chartered Bank to raise funds for its Konkola copper mine assets. says it is engaging with several potential partners for both short term funds and long term equity financing for the zambian project retail inflation the main yardstick for the central bank's policy making is finally in sight of hitting the 4% target but extreme weather events along with a spike in international crude oil prices due to geopolitical uncertainties pose an inflation risk the reserve bank of india state of the economy report said this podcast is sponsored by sound of ca we share because we care vande mataram jai hind